That's Pearl Jam. Okay. A song called Smile mm -hmm. off of their album No Code, which is my favorite album by Pearl Jam. Okay. A lesser known album. The song's called Smile. Yes, yeah, so good. Cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to Great Measures. My name is Richard. This is Judson. Uh, Great Measures. I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, I know you can tell, right? <laughs> so this is what I think will officially be your first introduction to actual black metal. We did the Winter Horde song that had some black metal elements in it, but... Shout out to Winter Horde. Shout out to Winter Horde. And Omer. Um, so this band, I've worn their t-shirt in a few of our videos, and every time I wear it, people are like, you got to show them Dissection. So this is Dissection. They are a Swedish black metal band, black metal slash melodic death metal. Um, they kind of have a dark story and a dark history. Uh, the song we're going to do is off of... The band has a, wait a minute. The band oh, yes. has a dark story, dark history? Yeah, yeah. And you're just gonna leave it there and just well, move I'm, on okay. to the next? Let me, let me read a little bit about it. So the album that we're doing is called Storm of the Lights Bane. Storm of the Lights Bane. The song we're gonna do, I was, it was a toss up between this one and they have another one called Night's Blood. But this one's called Where Dead Angels Lie. Okay. Uh, so let me just, I'm going to try to pronounce his name, but the Swedish pronunciation that I looked up, his name is Jon Nodvate, but it's okay. John Nodvate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I don't okay. know. Um, so he founded the band in 1989. This album and this song came out in 1995. <sighs> All right. Let me read a little bit of this cause it's. Um, a little bit on the dark side. All right. The band was f formed in 1989. Um, they split up in 1997 due to Notvate's imprisonment for complicity in the murder of Joseph Mador. Okay. All right. After his release from prison, he reformed the band in 2004 with new members who he felt could stand behind and live up to the demands of Dissection's satanic concept. Uh, they released their third and final full-length album in 2006 before disbanding that June. Uh, Nodvate said he had reached the limitations of music as a tool for expressing what I want to express for myself and the handful of others that I care about. Two months later, he committed suicide with a gun inside a circle of lit candles in his apartment. Um, yeah. So you're just going to breeze right over that stuff. Well, uh, yeah, right, it's well, a lot. It makes the intro a little bit longer, but I, I just kind of wanted you to know, like, the, the darkness of it all, I mm -hmm. guess, you know. Name of the song again? Where Dead Angels Lie. Okay. But it's probably <laughs> the most. This is this is the reason I chose this one is because it is pretty digestible. Mm -hmm. Ready or dissectable? <laughs> I need to learn how to say "proceed," Richard, in other languages. Swedish would have been good for right now. Yeah, for sure. But "proceed," Richard. Yon. <laughs>
screen and record. What do you think, Richard? What do you think? Oh, I like the music, or the, the way the music, you know, it was real, like, classically. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was ripping. Okay. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's one of the, like, if you if you go back to the earlier days of black metal, um, and, and especially that era of black metal in the mid nineties. And black, and black metal indicates what? It's a subject matter. Usually very, uh, very satanic themes. I mean, it's not all limited to that, but for the most part, and then uh, very, a lot of dissonance in the, in the, mm -hmm. uh, Structures of the song and the and the chords of the songs. Well, we'll. I've got a couple of others that I've got on my mind. Obviously, we want to do Night's Blood. It's a little bit of a, a faster pace, and this was one of the slower songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from that album and and black metal in general. That's kind of why I wanted this to be the first introduction. And where were you going? Sorry, I cut you off. You were going somewhere. Uh, what did I say? In the '90s, black metal. And yeah, it's it's a lot. Faster blast beats. Um, there at the beginning, it did that tremolo picking with the da na 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 na. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that in sort of classic black metal, hmm. earlier black metal stuff. Okay, um, that helps. Yeah, they also mentioned, you know, like I've heard it mentioned before, that dissection and their style of music with the harmonizing guitars kind of heavily influenced by Iron Maiden and bands like that mm -hmm. in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, but I've also seen where the, the lead singer and the guitar player there, Yon or John or whatever we want to call him, uh, he kind of, because they're from Sweden and because they have melodic death metal elements, he puts them, he, he put them in the category of uh, the Gothenburg scene, they call it, with the in flames and at the gates that we did this song from that Swedish melodic death metal because hmm. they have a lot of those characteristics in their music too. That's cool. Because this is not, I mean, I wouldn't call dissection as, or this album in particular pure black metal, you know, because I mean there are a lot of black metal elements and layers to the songs and their structure they throw a lot of melodic death stuff in there too, as far as the riffs and things like that go. Mm. But this album was, this album and, and uh, the one before it, the Somber Lane, I think is how you pronounce it. S-O-M-B-E-R-L-A-I-N. Somberlin, Somberlin, Somberlin. Uh, pretty prominently well-known and very important albums for that era and that style of Excuse me, that style of music. Hmm. It's got a cold feel to it, right? Like, do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's black metal. Like the music. I mean, the album covers and everything is like snowy landscapes and just dark and dreary and no sunlight. But hmm. the music has a, a feel to it that kind of feels chilling and cold. Yeah, know? I do. Yeah, I feel Yeah, for sure. I feel that for sure. Yeah. Even the, the lyrics. I mean, he's, he's, he's talking, he's talking, I think he's mentioning the fall of the angels from heaven in a sense. I know, I think he's mentioning Lucifer at one point, his angel, the, the, his heart turned to ice. Mm hmm and um said that this darkness is here this coldness or something is here yeah. to stay yeah yeah that's a good way to put it I, yeah. yeah i feel a, i feel a, the coldness for made me shiver when you said it so. yeah that's a a very common quality of of black metal hmm that's interesting yeah and re really, I selfishly wanted to show you this band and this album and this song because there are other black metal bands that I like more that I think you would probably enjoy too. And not that you didn't enjoy this one, but um, there's this 
band that I've really been into the last couple of years, um, black metal band. And I, I think it would just, it's there's, their name is spelled G-R-I-M-A. So I would just pronounce it Grima, you know. But they're Russian and it's twin brothers are the main band members and they have a, a drummer and a bassist that I think they do live stuff with. But man, their their stuff is just beautiful and... Cold. It is, yeah, it's cold. Um, I'm gonna have to start start thinking in terms of that, or at least asking you more about what subgenres of metal, yeah, like what the feel, what they're where the feel is. Sure, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't, you know, we had a, I made a community post back when we had the the icy storm thing that we had a few weeks ago, and uh, I took a picture of my front yard, and, and across from my across the street from me is an empty lot, and it's the house burned there like in 2018, and they just never did I anything. Remember, with yeah, it. I yeah, yeah, and. Um, I took a picture of it because it was foggy that day. It was sleeting. It was a little bit, it was thick overcast and it looked like the setting of a, a black metal album or a music video or hmm. something, you know? And, and I cracked the joke. I was like, it looks like we've got a black metal music video going on down here in Mississippi. You know? I missed that. Yeah. And it was that picture. If you want to go find it in our community posts, it's very, uh, fitting for the style of music. Hmm. Well, that gives me something to think about. Yeah. From here on out. Yeah. Thanks for that. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even. I haven't even. I need to. I need to do that more. Think in terms of a, of a simple way to characterize each subgenre of metal, so that I can. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. I, I don't. I. I. There are bands than black metal that i love and there are bands in black metal that i just can't get into you know like it's not one of those things where the majority of death metal that i hear i enjoy or the majority of thrash metal that i hear i enjoy with it's hit or miss with black metal with me hmm. uh, and i'm by no means an expert on the on the subject uh i just i know what i like and that's about it well that's all that matters sure well, cool. cool. Yeah, I'm glad you... Uh, we just said we're cool at the same we time. Did. We did. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was your introduction to black metal. Cool. And we'll just go from there. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Richard. This is Judson. We are Great Measures. That was where... <laughs> Great Measures. <laughs> that was where Dead Angels Live from Dissection. Have a wonderful day, everybody. <laughs>